What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. It is time for another Buffany collection try and review and this is probably one of the biggest launches that we have seen in a hot minute. So we have a lot of things to go through, we have a lot of things to talk about and I am so excited to dive into the new Buffany collection, Boyfriend Collection. And it's my first review as a fiance. I feel like my Gap fam here on the YouTube channel, we haven't been able to really celebrate yet. So this is our moment to just celebrate that your girl, we're getting married. I just wanted to share that quick news with you guys in case you don't follow me on Instagram or anywhere else because I've definitely been talking about it since it happened over about a month and a half ago. So lots going on. And in addition to that, we are actually going to be filming our last try and review in this home. So. This is the final one, I am moving. That is also a big update that I shared over on TikTok and Instagram. So this is the final one, which is actually really, really sad. There's been so many great memories in this house, but I'm really glad to be kind of like wrapping it up on such a great note. And again, it's such an amazing collection. So with that being said, if you guys are wanting all the details on the boyfriend collection, then just keep watching. For those who might not know, my name is Gabrielle Tongle, but you can call me Gabs and my reviews are known for being quite in depth. I already know that this one's going to be a little over an hour because there is just so many pieces. Like literally they have a capsule within this collection because it was like, why not? Let's just put it all together. So hang tight, get some snacks, get your notes ready because we have so many things to talk about. I'm gonna to try to keep it as concise as possible, but I wanna make sure that I give you guys all the details as well. As always, if you guys have any additional questions, you guys can always reach out to me over on Instagram. You guys can join my Discord community or you can comment down below and I'm more than happy to answer you guys. I will be very honest to say that I have a lot of my things packed up right now, so I was not able to do a lot of try-on comparisons, but I will make sure that throughout the video, if I am referencing any old pieces that I have reviewed in more than likely the recent Genesis collection or anything else that was prior to, I will link it at the specific sections of me talking about that piece. Because like I said, I unfortunately don't have all of my collection handy right now to do the try on clips. Um, so I will make sure to link it out to the timestamps of older videos that do have me trying on those pieces. But as always, I will do my best to describe it as much as possible to you guys in regards to what I think about sizing, fit, and all that good stuff, as well as colors. In case this is you guys' first Gap Fam review, you guys can always download the free PDF down in the description box. I highly recommend that you guys pause this video, download it for free, and follow along there because I do add my overall thoughts and sizing and all that stuff and all the other details about the pieces over in the PDF over there. And a lot of you guys have enjoyed following along in my videos with the PDF. And so again, download it for free. It is over 200 pages because again, this is a huge, huge collection. So pause the video, download that, and then continue watching because I do feel like it will be helpful for you to follow along, add your guys' notes, mark things as something that you wanna buy or not. As always, not every single collection is going to be for every single person. So it is totally okay if you're like, I'm done with this color palette, I'm not into a lot of these things, I'm waiting for something new. And just so my BTC knows, I will say there's probably only one bra in this collection that I personally was like super excited about. That's new. We do have our usual revolution bras, but I have seen in the Buffany collection discord that we do have some BTC bras coming out in the next launch. So if you guys have been waiting for bras specifically, I would say you guys can wait out for the next one because like I said, Heidi herself said in the Buffany collection discord that BTC bras are coming for next launch. So, very, very excited about that, and I will see you guys when that happens. I genuinely have no details on that right now. It was a first for me to see that like officially stated in the Discord, so I am so excited because I understand the BTC has not gone to bra in a minute, or a good amount of bras, I should say, in a minute. I told you guys to just be patient. They're in the works. They are coming. I did say this in the last collection as well. I would not be representing a company that did not support my body type, my needs as a bigger titty committee. So I am saying as patient as you guys for good reason. So when I say I hear you, I get it, I have voiced my opinions, all that stuff, Buffany Collection is working on some incredible things. They just take time, they take a lot of trial and error, and we just gotta stay patient. So 
Really glad that, again, we are supposed to be seeing some in the next collection, so we'll leave it for then. Last housekeeping thing is if you guys do want to save any money shopping this collection, you guys can always use the code GABS for 10% off. You guys definitely don't have to, but if you choose to do so, please let me know so I can thank you. I understand that there are so many codes out there that you guys could be using, or you could be using no codes at all, and you guys choose to use mine, so please, please let me know so I can say thank you. And with that being said, let's get into the review. So let's start with the little capsule that got added onto this collection or just kind of combined into the collection. And that is everything Threads. So Threads is actually a brand new fabric from Buff Bunny Collection. It was basically the missing sweatsuit material that we weren't getting from Cloud or Lux or Untamed. And it's that one that we can use all year round. That is their biggest thing that they are emphasizing with this new fabric. And I do agree that it is very light, but is also warm and is also very soft as well. Now, I will say she is not like the Cloud. She is not like the Lux in regards to that plushy, stretchy feeling. It's definitely its own material in itself. It is like fleece lined inside, but again, it does have just like a lighter weight to it. It's definitely on the thinner side, but again, it's just very light and airy, but still warm. I've been wearing it as I've been moving and everything like that, and it's been great to kind of keep me warm when I've been cold, but I also don't feel like I have to take it off when I do feel a little warm. I just kind of unzip it and I feel good. I feel like Cloud is like your go-to, like matchy-matchy set and like your full-on like in a sweatsuit situation. Lux is like your luxury sweatsuit, you know what I mean? Like we already know that. Threads is kind of like your more... I don't even know how to describe it, but it's like very oversized, baggy, and just like, I don't even know. I, I can't describe it, but when you guys see the cloud versus the Lux versus the threads, you'll kind of get the different vibes that you're getting, which I love. So while we did come out with a new fabric, we also came out with just an overall new style. So they are very much like different from one another, for sure. A lot of people are describing this as like a thinner version of cloud. I don't want to say it's like Cloud because it's definitely not the same stretch as Cloud and it doesn't have that same finish like Cloud where it's like plushy. So again, I just think they're all very different and meant for something different. I think that this will be the best layering piece if you are someone who wants to wear joggers over their shorts, joggers over their leggings, want a nice little warm up that you could definitely keep wearing even if you're sweating, especially the way that this quarter zip that I'm wearing right now is designed. It's very easy to be like hot in it, but still keep it on, but still get that ventilation happening in the armpits because it is such a wide styled um, like zip up, which you guys will see in the try-ons. I am holding it out like this and you can just see overall like that's how you're getting that oversized look without it being like cinched at the bottom or anything like that. But overall, I'm really just digging the threads look. It looks really good. However, the problem that I have with the threads material, and maybe this is my fault because I did not wash them beforehand, is I wore them straight out of the package and I wore them with the waffle leggings, which is also what I'm wearing right now. And the little fuzzies inside from the fleece pilled so, so much all over my waffle leggings. So I'm not sure if that's a waffle legging problem or a threads problem, but I also noticed when I wore it with my Nubri pieces, I got a lot of fuzz balls on there as well. They easily came out and they didn't pill my Nubri. Whereas the waffle knit, it definitely pilled, which we'll talk about the waffle knit a little later on. So just something to keep in mind is that it probably would be would have been better if I had washed her first because it's kind of like when you get any sort of like fleecy, cottony sweatsuit. If you wear it straight out of the like from the store, there is chances of it kind of like balling up and like kind of transferring over onto whatever else you're wearing underneath. So usually if you wash her first, it's not as bad afterwards. And like as you wear it, it does go away as well. So I just wanted to put that out there that that's personally what I noticed. But again, that could have been my fault because I did not wash it prior to. So with that, let's jump to the first piece of the threads fabric. And that is the quarter zip that I'm wearing right here. I personally love how she is the perfect length for my short torso and where it meets with my leggings. You guys know me. I love my high rise leggings, but I also love my like crop, but not super crop sweaters and because I don't like full length either because my torso is so short. So these are literally the perfect length for my torso. I definitely see her being appropriate for the longer torsos as well where it's not too short. And with the oversized fit, I think that also contributes to it a whole lot. So I do overall love the fit of the quarter zip. I also love the different detailing of the ribbing happening down the middle and then on the cuffs as well. This does not have any thumb holes or anything like that. It really is just like a chill quarter zip. And I just find the way that they designed it being like basically a very wide cut and then the way that it kind of just sits and relaxes 
on the body because of the way that it's cut. It just looks so good and again, gives you that nice oversized fit. It does also have a raw cut at the bottom, which I do love that style as well. And then we also love that the zipper is kind of the monochromatic situation. And just overall, it's just such a nice monochromatic vibe. You guys know me, I love my matchy matchy. I love my color on color on color, my monochromatic moment. I've been like that for so long, so we do appreciate her very, very much. Something else that I like is that this does come down quite a bit. So usually quarter zips only come out to like about the middle of her bust, but this one actually goes all the way down just below my bust actually. So I really can change up the look. I feel like if I even got a bigger size, you can almost wear it off the shoulder. I don't know what the vibe would really look like with that just because it is like with a collar and everything like that but I do like how it does zip down further. So depending if I want to show the bra underneath or not, I can zip it up or down. This does come up a little bit shorter than I would typically have collars come up. Usually they'd be like up to here, but I actually don't mind it. I think one thing that I'm appreciating about it not being so high is that as you know, the girlies who wear the makeup, I bring my makeup down all the way down my like neck right here. So it drives me absolutely nuts when my hoodies like to rub off on it. I just can't do the makeup on the collar. It I used to do it, but now I just can't. Um, so I do like how it's shorter. So like even if I am wearing makeup with this outfit, it's not like constantly rubbing up against my jawline or my chin. So I do appreciate that, even though I do typically like the taller ones. A lot of you guys have asked if I mind like the rolling happening here, and I honestly don't. It hasn't been something that's bothered me at all. And the many times that I've been wearing this quarter zip, I have this in two different colors, so I've been wearing it quite a bit. Um, but yeah, it does not bother me. I could see it bothering some, but for me, overall, I just, I really don't mind her. And I just really, really like the way that she looks on. So really good job to the Buff Bunny team on this quarter zip. I do reach for it quite a bit, and it's not because it's my only clothes that like are like new and like accessible right now during my move. I've had other things in rotation, and I just still find myself grabbing this quarter zip to throw on with absolutely anything. So anyways, that is my overall thoughts on the quarter zip. You will be seeing it in Onyx Black, Mocha Berry, Berry Ice, and Bone. And like I said, this neck is kind of like that mock neck situation. I also love that this has the embroidered logo. I'm a big fan when they do the embroidered logo. I think it's just so much nicer and a lot more clean. So I do like that we're seeing her a bit more. So overall, I would say the Threads Quarter Zip is one of my top picks for many different reasons on its versatility, the material itself, the way that it fits, everything like that. I just think she's such a staple quarter zip that will go with so many different things and something that you can wear year round. That is, again, another thing that they are very much emphasizing about the Threads material is that you can wear it for all seasons of the year, whether you layer it to make it even warmer or whether you wear it alone to keep you cool, but still a little warm for those little bit chillier nights or days or whatever that might be. But I do think that the Threads material is a great addition to basically the sweatsuit line that Buff Bunny Collection has between this, the Untamed, the Cloud, the Lux, and all the other sweat pieces that we've seen in between. Something else that I'll mention is I really, really love the deep armholes on this sweater. Again, that is kind of what I was saying earlier, where like, even though I was getting really hot in this, I didn't feel like I had to worry about like sweating in my armpits or feeling too restrictive. I definitely got some like, you know, ventilation happening through the deep armholes and like just again, the wide cut or like the wide design of the quarter zip in general. So if it's not obvious enough, we like the quarter zip, all right? And this color that I'm wearing right here is the Mocha Berry for reference. This one right here is the Berry Ice. All right, I did not opt in for the Threads hoodie, but from what I've been told, it is a very similar fit to what you would get for Cloud. I will put some comments or pictures up here for some comparisons that I can get from the rest of the girls. But um, from what I know, getting the same size that you prefer in the Cloud will definitely be just fine when it comes to the Thread hoodie. Something else that I've heard about the thread pieces is that they definitely did gear it to be unisex if you wanted it to be. They're not promoting it to be like the boyfriend cloud like we just saw in the Buff Pups capsule. However, it is an option to be unisex. We got another guest appearance for another collection. Look at that. Mr. Wong in my outfit. Yeah, do all the things I do. Mm-hmm. What with the pants? What you think about the pants? <laughs> what do you think about the size? I think it's fine. Like, would you get that size? Yeah. Like six foot? You're such a liar. You're not six feet. Turn to the side. Yeah, you got a lot of extra fabric too. And that is why ultimately they went ahead with the minimal branding and the non-cursive branding as well. 
So again, if you guys are wanting a matchy matchy moment with your partner, you definitely can because these can be unisex, especially because they do naturally already have that oversized fit. Now we also have a zip hoodie. They literally gave us so many different options with these thread pieces and that is literally why Threads was going to be a capsule in itself because there's just so many options when it comes to threads. So I do have the thread zip hoodie, which I'm actually wearing in a small. It literally looks so big for a small and that just shows you that they really leaned into that oversized fit. So I actually did love and felt really good about the small in my zip hoodie. A medium I think would be a little bit too big. I loved that this one, again, looked really good to be a little bit longer if I wanted to cover my bum cover any camel toe if I had any and just feel like a true oversized fit. It did also look great with the joggers. Um, so I felt all good with the small. It is like really, really a true oversized fit. So for me, even though I typically size up in a medium to give me that more oversized look in the cloud pieces, not the ones that came out in the buff pops, but the usual cloud pieces and as well as the luxe pieces and the previous OG untamed pieces, I did like the small in the Threads zip hoodie. Now again, just be mindful with wearing the zip hoodie. If you are like me who wore it with their waffle leggings, I would very much advise that you wash it first to just reduce the chances of it peeling onto your bottoms. I will keep you guys updated over on Instagram as I wash these pieces and wear them continuously over time, like obviously beyond the launch, to see how I feel about the fleece inside the threads. But I truly just feel like the mixture of the waffle knit material and me not washing the threads was really like the reason why this like combination kind of happened because yeah, my waffle knit the waistband is pretty trashed, I will say that. But again, it could be more so be my fault. The thread zip hoodie we will be seeing in a few more colors. We'll be seeing it onyx black, berry ice, white bone and chamomile. Chamomile is a new color that we have not seen yet. Here is a comparison of the chamomile 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 comparison to the bone just to give you guys perspective as to how different they look something that i actually really like about this color palette which i know a lot of you guys are actually so over with because we did see some of these colors in genesis we also saw it in the last two capsules which were so intense to be like literally two weeks apart but we survived but i actually really like this capsule because you guys know me i am typically a same color kind of girl like i like a full berry ice moment a full mocha berry moment like i like to be very very matchy matchy but this time around i've been mixing and matching the colors a lot more and it's because they complement each other so so nicely so they might not both be in like the pink family but they look so good together and i think it's because they all have that same like gray undertone i am just so here for it because it is such a great like muted pastel essentially and just like I said, the colors all complement each other and I really do appreciate it so, so much. And again, I don't know if this is intentional. I don't know if this is like something we're gonna see ongoing, but I just feel like they really did such a great job of all these colors really complementing each other and being able to mix and match so well but still feel like you're having a matchy-matchy moment. You know what I mean? Some of the other pieces that we'll be seeing in the threads realm is a shacket. I was going to opt in for this, but honestly, back when like Aritzia and like Wilfred was doing their shackets, I feel like we all got on that trend and then I got one, but I never wore it after I got one. And so I feel like I'm more of the button up girl than I am a shacket girl. I just, I don't know, maybe it's just more of a me thing. I mean, I feel like she would look so good on like the bodysuit in the summer with like bodysuits or like bras and like shorts or whatever. But I don't know, something about it, I was just like, I'll opt out of this because I just don't see myself grabbing for it too much. But if you are someone who loves the shacket vibe, the button up vibe, this will definitely be such a great cover up to have. And the fact that it's more on like that cottony feel, that fleece feel, like I think that's so cool because it's like cozy vibes, but still getting that like look, you know, that the aesthetic. So the shacket, again, all things threads are all oversized fits already. Sorry, correction. The shacket's not oversized. It's more of just like a relaxed fit. So I would probably size up just to get me a little bit more of an oversized fit just so that I could comfortably drape it off my shoulder or anything like that. So for the threads shacket, I personally would probably get myself a medium or a large even just because I never see myself buttoning it up all the way. I very much am that person to like drape it off, leave it open, things like that. So for me personally and my preference, I would size up just to give me that oversized fit since it's only a relaxed fit, not oversized. This one will only be coming out in Onyx and Cold Brew. Now, moving on to the Threads Bottoms, we have two different options. We have the Jogger Sweatpants, which is our usual where we have the elastic at the bottom. And then we have the Straight Leg. I love having both options. 
Now, the only problem is because I'm so short, the straight leg definitely needs to get hemmed even if I did wear some shoes. And I hate dragging my pants along the floor, so I'll definitely have to go get those hemmed. We will not be seeing the straight leg sweatpants in different lengths. Maybe in the future, but for right now, it's only coming out in one length. Obviously, with the joggers, it's not that big of a deal for me because we do have that cinching happening at the ankles. So I just get like a bigger look around my calf and it's all good with me. But for that reason, that's why I prefer the jogger style. But I do feel that once I do get the straight legs hemmed, I will also like that. It kind of gives you that like boot cut style. It's kind of cute. It does overall give you that like boyfriend look as if you're wearing like your boyfriend's sweatpants because not a lot of the men's sweatpants I feel have that like drawstring at the bottom. I feel like they usually have like a more like kind of like open bottom, I guess you could say. So I do feel like they very much did embody that whole boyfriend sweatpant kind of look with the straight leg threads joggers or sorry, sweatpant. So that is everything that you guys can expect from the threads realm of everything. Something else I do need to add to everything threads is that unfortunately for me, for me, I found that I got pilling in the joggers right away. Maybe it's my thick thigh problem. I don't know, but I did find a little bit of pilling between the legs. I literally wore her all day when I arrived on Tuesday. I was doing errands, I was packing, working, sitting, standing, all that stuff. And I did find the slightest bit. It's definitely not as bad as the untamed. I feel like the untamed, we saw a lot of pilling other than the marble ones, where I find with this one, it's not quite at the same caliber. I know some people have not seen pilling. So again, I don't know if it's a me problem. I don't know if it's a color thing, but I'll keep asking others to see if others are experiencing it at all. And maybe again, it just kind of depends on how much your thighs rub together wearing the pieces. But for me, I, I definitely did see pilling in the crotch area. So um, I just want to be transparent with that because at the end of the day, like I always say, me not being honest with you guys does absolutely nothing. I always want to be 100% with you guys, especially because you guys are spending your hard earned money on these pieces. So I will say, when it comes to pilling, Cloud and Lux still win. When it comes to pet hair, they're all equally the same. Literally, my thread sweatsuit, like look at all of this Rex hair. Literally, absolutely everywhere. And it's just, it's what it is. You know, I am, I've accepted it. It's again, not an anybody else problem, but the fact that I just have a dog that sheds the way that he does, you know? And I like lighter colors. So it's like really, that's a me thing. But like I said, either way, I wanna let you guys know that I did experience that and so it is unfortunate, but that is something that you typically see with the more like cotton like these. Cause like I said, I feel like the threads fabric is more of like that true cotton that we see. Whereas Cloud and Lux is like its own fucking breed. You know, like that, I have no idea what they put in it, but it is such a different feeling to the touch that yeah, it's just, like I said, this is more of like our usual cotton sweatsuits that we're kind of seeing, but just a little bit more breathability and just like a way better like structure and design than some of the sweatsuits that I see. And again, not as bad of pilling that we would see in other cotton pieces. So hopefully that makes sense. If not, let me know. And I'm more than happy to elaborate. Editing Gab's literally wearing the same sweater still. Okay, so like clearly she likes the hoodie. Um, but I just wanted to elaborate further to say like, because after I watched this back, I'm like, mm, you didn't really elaborate much. But honestly, I, I'm i not like super blown away by the threads material. Like, yes, it's like a nice fleece. It's nice, light and airy. Um, it's soft. I love the overall pieces and everything like that. But like when you compare how unique Cloud is and Lux, this doesn't even compare in regards to like uniqueness. Again, I still think that it's a great addition to the entire family of you know sweatsuit materials um but i still would choose cloud or lux all day every day over this threads material i feel like again it's just like not super unique for me in regards to like um like a cotton sweatsuit thing um so just wanted to give a heads up that like don't expect it to be something as unique as cloud and lux again i still love the pieces clearly you should be wearing them all the time um and i'm even gonna get some more colors but like again the material itself is not as unique as cloud and lux so just keep that in mind and don't have the expectation that this is like a, a material that you've never really tried before like yes buffany collection material is always unique in its own um however like i said i wasn't like 
oh my gosh, like I was about Cloud and Lux when I felt this. Or like Aaronit, for example. Like Aaronit, I'm like, holy shit, right? And like Nubri. Um, those unique materials, I'm like, yes, yes, yes. Where like this one, I'm like, I feel like I've had something a little similar. Definitely not like with this like different texture of like the, the ribbing being like this ribbing right here is definitely like a lot thicker and like more stiff. Um, and I like that it's like mixed in with like this like regular cotton one. You know what I mean? So just want to be honest with you on that. Um, like I said, I need to tell elaborate a bit more on what I said because I'm like watching it. And I'm like, I'm, I would ask you questions to elaborate, you know? So, and I kind of like these like real time gabs pop it in to say something in between. Like okay, bye. Now let's carry on to some other pieces in the collection. Let's get into the leggings. I love overall just how many new pieces we're seeing in this collection. There are literally so many. And like when I say new pieces, I mean like pieces that we have never seen this design. We have never seen these features, things like that. Like I just think the team really went all out with this collection and just bringing so much newness to us. And I, I'm here for it. I love that. And I think it's just a, a great way to really just see like what we like, what we don't like, and just kind of our feedback. And I'm just, I'm all about it. So the girlfriend leggings, these ones are really cool because they're new breed, but they also do like a faux cross wrap with an elastic situation in the front. You guys know me when it comes to like the cross front leggings, they're just not for me with my midsection, my body fat, and just like my torso. I just, they always roll and I know how much you guys love them because they really do snatch the waist in. But for me personally, they just are annoying. Like I still have them, I still wear them, but they're not the first ones that I'll grab if I want to really have like a snatch situation. Where for those who like have a more flat stomach, I guess, or less body fat in the med section, I know you guys are always reaching for those. But for me personally, I'm just like, mm, not my first choice. If I do wear them, I'm usually wearing something that does cover my waist because I know that's happening all the time. Now, I will say I do appreciate how they did add the elastic. I thought that was a really cool addition because it's actually only in the front, not in the back. And like usually we see it only in the back or all around. So I do like seeing that it's only in the front and I do find that it helped hold it up a little bit. Honestly, I still had the rolling just because again, my midsection and where I carry my body fat it just naturally does that no matter what legging I wear, unless it's like ultra high rise. So that was the only thing. Now, do I feel like I still got the same effect with the faux cross wrap? Not quite, just because it's not as deep of a V of like an overlap happening. I do see how they made it as faux, but like as similar as possible. But it's definitely not like what we see in, for example, like the siren leggings, like that waistband that like truly overlaps like this, right? So I do think it was a great way to like make it somewhat similar are they sisters no they're more like cousins you know what i mean like they're not the exact same but like i get what you're doing i even asked some people who saw me that day like you know did they notice the wrap like the crisscross and they honestly just felt like this was more of like a piping detail versus like a crisscross effect like i get that they like physically crisscross but they didn't quite see the same feature, I guess you could say. So I still love them. They were very comfortable to wear. Everything looked great. You know what I mean? Like they always do such a wonderful job in the glutes. And I really, again, as I said earlier, loved how they embroidered this logo versus doing a printed one. So I liked that. And then, like I said, I think the elastic in the front was a great way to like just kind of keep it up um, as much as possible, even though we were doing a little bit of a V situation. So I think they thought about all the things to make another version of a crisscross front, which I do appreciate. Again, I just think it depends on your body type and how much it's going to bother you that like there's a waistband in the front, but not in the back. And just like, again, that little bit of rolling that you will experience if you are like me, where you do carry it in the midsection. And again, just depending on how high it comes up on your body and like what you like. So overall, like I said, great legging, it's just like not my new favorite or anything. So these again are the girlfriend legging and it is only coming out in two colors. We're going to be seeing it in a onyx black mineral wash. So it's kind of like a heathered kind of finish. I don't personally have that color, so I am not 100% sure. But what I can see in the picture is it kind of looks like a heathered situation. And then we do have it in chai latte. Chai latte is just literally one of my favorite colors. It's like the perfect nude where you don't look naked. You don't look too warm. It's just a perfect, cool, taupey nude. Like, I, I really don't know how to describe it. And like, I don't know. It's just so beautiful. Okay. Just so, so beautiful. One of my favorites. And this one is also classified as a high rise. So overall, girlfriend legging, 
not bad girlfriend, you know? As usual, we will also be seeing the legacy legging. I am shocked, like so shocked that we are seeing legacy legging in one color. When was the last time you saw legacy legging in one color? Legacy legging is literally the legging that everyone knows and loves from Buff Bunny Collection. I want to say it's one of their number one leggings probably because of the butterfly detailing in the back. If you're new to Buff Bunny Collection and you have not tried the legacy legging, that is definitely one of the leggings I feel like everyone should have from Buff Bunny Collection, like hands down. It's newbie fabric, has the butterfly detail in the back, high rise, no camel toe, just so incredible of a legging, like truly one of my top favorites of all time. But anyways, we're only seeing her in mocha berry. So a little concerned because I'm like, we normally see her in like six colors, at least at minimum, but we're only seeing her in one. But I mean, at least mocha berry is a cute color, okay? But I'm just saying, so weird. So, so weird. But no changes to the legacy legging. It is our tried and true legacy legging that we know and love, but in one color. So I'm like, buff any collection, are we okay? But I guess, you know, they're just trying to give more love to the other pieces, especially the new ones, right? Which, speaking of which, let's transition to this new one, which is a Rosa boot cut. We said, let's give flares a break and let me bring you a boot cut. So at first I was like, okay, they're gonna be pretty much the same. But after Teresa had sent me this picture, very much not. Boot cut is a little bit more straight and like it doesn't come out to like after your calves basically. And the reason that this one specifically has a slit is so that it can fit your chunky sneaker or your sneaker in general. Because if it was too straight, that would just look like, I kind of envision it being like horse feet. Like, you know, the hooves and then just like, it's like not quite wide, wide, wide. It's like, you know what I mean? Like, if there was no slit, that's kind of what I envision a boot cut being like, is like, hooves. I don't know if I'm making sense, but that's literally just what comes to mind for me. Rosa boot cut, very excited. However, she did not make it in time for me to try on for you guys, so I genuinely don't know, and I am so curious, being a wide calf girly, I'm like, are these gonna look basically like leggings that didn't taper all the way through for me, or are they gonna look cute? You know, like I'm just, we're not sure. We're hopeful, but we're not sure. I will update you guys probably over on Instagram stories because I feel like I'm probably gonna get them either right on time for launch or shortly after launch, but I have high hopes. And so basically you can imagine her as like the Rosa legging top. So not like the legacy legging, but just like the Rosa legging, no side seams at all, no butterfly detailing in the back. And then basically it just goes tight. And then like I said, flares a little bit at like mid calf. So again, that's why I'm like, what does she look like on a wide calf girl? I'll have to ask Catherine because I know Catherine and I very much relate on that. So I'll ask her and see and then add her comments here on the screen. Also, happy to say that there's going to be three different inseam lengths for this legging specifically. We'll be seeing the short, regular, and tall. So I love how like right off the bat, because of the Foxy flares, they already knew, let's add three different inseams for all of our short, normal, and tall girlies. So. Definitely you guys can expect to see three different ones. They are ultra high rise as well. And then we also have a very interesting pattern. We have pinstripes. So I'm like, interesting. Is this gonna look like a pair of dress pants or are we kind of like low key a pinstripe? So I do have, I think, I'm not sure if I have the black or the pinstripe on the way. I know I have something pinstripe on the way, but from what I can see, I can barely see it in the photos that like pinstripe is pinstripe. I think it's a very nice, subtle pattern from the pictures that I've seen from all the other girls. And like even in the picture in the PDF, like I had to really zoom in to see the pinstripe, but I think it's just a fun little thing to add. And again, just kind of like encompassing the whole boyfriend situation, you know, like a pinstripe vibe. I don't know. I just, I definitely saw how the pinstripe reflected the boyfriend collection, you know? So very excited for those. Just can't quite tell you exactly how I feel until mine come in, but I do think that if you like boot cut in general, if you love the Rosa leggings, and if you're just trying to look for something that's like a little bit different, that's not quite flair, I think these are definitely going to be worth a try. All right, the dream headed leggings are making a comeback in three new colors. We are gonna be seeing her in black heather, mocha heather, and berry heather. So I have the berry heather here. She's not like physically beside me, but we do have her, okay? But she's just a beautiful tint of like baby pink, you know, like I think it's great. I think it's awesome, again, the Dream had their pieces in general, the legging and the bra, especially the bra, 
talk about that in a minute, is more of a lounge piece for me. I am also very much wearing like my Threads zip hoodie over her. She is just such a comfy material. It's almost like, what is it like? It's, it's just very comfy, soft, loungy, like just, I love her. But like, I don't love that she's more of a like mid high rise on me. Even with me sizing up, which by the way, definitely size up in the dream heathered pieces. For me personally, I size up in the leggings and the bra. But yeah, I don't know. Something about them I just find is just so comfy and just like cute. I need to find better descriptor words for you guys because everything's starting to sound the same. But you know what I mean? Like it's just, she's a vibe. She's a vibe to wear at home, vibe to chill on the couch, vibe to just watch movies all day. Like it's just, but it's still feels cute, okay? I do find the glutes look fabulous in them as well. So I do love that. So again, she's kind of like a cute little sneaky glute situation or like outfit where you are wearing like lighter color leggings, with a little bit of heathered going on, booties looking great, but like we're wearing an oversized hoodie. Like, you know, it's just like a that kind of vibe. But yeah, I, I had to size up for whatever reason. And I definitely could not imagine myself wearing a small or else we'd have major just not the right highs situation. Just not the right highs situation. Just not the right highs situation. So I had to get the medium to get me that like rise that I wanted, but it's still not quite that ultra rise. Ultra rise is definitely like my favorite and like what I feel most confident in. But I mean, we can't have all of them be ultra high rise, you know? So we gotta, we gotta mix it up a little bit. So definitely love seeing her come back in three different new colors. I don't see gray coming back. So I only see black, mocha, and berry. So just so you guys know, all new, no gray. Oh, waffle knit leggings. I am wearing her right now. Very comfortable. Love the elastic. This knit is driving me nuts in how easily it snags from the dog's pads, from fuck anything that might have snagged it. Like I could be passing by a zipper or something and it could accidentally do it. And the biggest one, like I said, was wearing the threads hoodie and seeing the pilling across the waistband. I will insert photos for you guys, but it's just so unfortunate because they're a cute, they're a cute, I'm trying not to say situation because I literally say it every other sentence, but they're they're a nice option to have, especially because they are that jacquard knit. So jacquard knit is something that we've seen Buffalo Collection do many, many times before, which is just so unique and so cool where the pattern is actually woven in a certain way versus being printed on. So I do love the concept of the waffle knit. It's just that the functionality of it when it comes to what you can do wearing it, very limited. Imagine with a barbell or a dumbbell with a grippy part, dragging that shit by accident? Oh, absolutely not. And like I said, even me with my dogs, like I can't even let them put their paw on me or anything, you know, without snagging. Like I have, I have quite a few snags just looking at here. Like I literally see my whole front and like inside. So just very unfortunate because I'm, you know, like I said, they're not cheap leggings by any means. And they're such a cute vibe. They definitely give me long john situation where I don't know if everyone knows this, but when it's, when you're in colder climates, you'll layer, or even if you go snowboarding, you'll layer with what's called long johns, and they're usually a waffle pattern. I don't know if there's a science between waffle just like making you warmer, but that just seems to be what a lot of these like layering pieces do. And so instantly it did make me think of that, and Heidi did confirm in the behind the design, that's kind of what she was after, based on like her wearing them in Alaska and everything like that. So I definitely think they nailed it in making like a cuter version of a long john basically. And like, I loved wearing them out and about. I love wearing them here, just hanging out. And they're so stretchy. The jacquard fit of these, I feel like really remind me of what we saw in the Rebel collection with the really stretchy ones. Not the ones that didn't quite work out, but the one, it was like, I'm like thinking evil eye, but it's definitely not something about a fucking eye. I think it was like nuclear or nucleus or something like that. Those ones are jacquard and they were very, very stretchy. We've seen some jacquard where there's literally no stretch, but these ones are good. They're, they're stretchy, they're good, they're comfy. Like I said, I love the top seam. Honestly, because they are quite pilled, these will be an at home or like a layering situation. I could definitely see myself running in them as well because they do have that top seam. Me being a running girly now, I love a top seam so that they like 
stay put always. And typically with performance-based leggings or materials in general, having a top seam is nice because that material will just naturally kind of fall a little bit more. So yeah, I don't know. I just I just wish there was something to like stop the pilling so bad because they're they're cute, they're a vibe. They're great, especially in the colder weather right now. Like how cute would it be to see me in some cute long johns out in out going groceries or something, you know? But that's just unfortunately what's going on. And this is again where the whole rise thing confuses the shit out of me because these feel more of a closer to the ultra high rise than they do of a high rise, especially when I compare the dream heathered leggings to these. Like the rise is just so hard for me to use the new categorization because I'm just like, it's just so inconsistent for me. But anyways, just to give you guys perspective, I do feel like they sit quite nice. Like they are covering my belly button like quite a bit. Like I don't feel like we're just covering my belly button kind of thing. Anyways, they're cute. They've just got a pilling problem. That's all. That's all it is. So make your decision off of that. Next up. Oh my God. The Colorado pocket leggings. Not so much the pocket I'm like freaking out about. It's more so the fabric and the stirrups. I have never owned a pair of stirrups, but I'm like, I need the black ones. Stirrups were so fun to just like not have to worry about your leggings or like your ankles showing, you know what I mean? Like sometimes when I don't have proper socks to like cover my ankles with my like chunky sneaker and stuff, I'm like, it's so awkward to just see my ankle. Like I used to be a no-show ankle sock girl. And now, you know, since like we all like to wear like our higher mid socks, I'm not. Uh, so when I have to expose my ankles, I'm just like, but it's so nice that with the stirrups, I wore my no-show socks um, under them and then I put them over. Perfect. I, perfect. And I mean, stirrups are also great for, again, if you're snowboarding or if you're wearing boots and you don't want to worry about them like pushing up when you like put the boot on, like that's so annoying. So I will say stirrups we love and just something about this material is incredible. Like to give you context, all of the Colorado pieces I'll be talking about today are fleece lines. So it's not like heavy, heavy fleece where it's too hot. It's like just extra brushed essentially to give us just that extra bit of warmth and like coziness. Like the minute you put these on, you definitely feel like, ooh, I'm a little warmer and I love it. Especially I tested out the warmth of them when we went to Launchpad here in Calgary and it was pretty cold. It was like three zero degrees Celsius. So I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. And I felt good. Like it was a nice layer. I still had to wear like a vest, but I didn't feel super cold or anything like that. And it just feels so nice on the skin. And if I ever run outside, this would definitely be my go-to outfit on repeat, no questions asked all the time. But even if I were to go on a hike again out in the wilderness, when it's a little cold, I will immediately be putting these on as either the only thing or like a layering thing. It's just so, so good. Like the outside, the inside, we just love the Colorado fabric. Okay. Like if it's not obvious enough, I just love it so much. And I just think the fleece lined is so incredible without being too heavy and hot. You know, I haven't ran in her outside yet, so I don't know, but I mean, overall, I do feel like she's a pretty, excuse me, Colorado pocket legging. I didn't even like obsess over the pocket, but the pocket is even fleece lined. So if you wanted to like warm up your hands, uh, it's like a little glove, you know what I mean? Do you guys see this right now? Do you guys see this right now? There's me, there's Cash. I just, <laughs> oh my goodness. I just have to highlight this. Like just watch us both. Like we're just two totally different moods. Like just, it's like a little glove, you know what I mean? Because of the fleece. He's like, can you just stop talking? Like, it was like 9 p.m. at this point. And then... <laughs> oh, my goodness. Because of the fleece. And then, low-key, it's kind of like a screen wiper, you know? It's basically the same thing that we use to, like, clean the ring, clean the screen, you know what I mean? Like... Just saying. They do have the same bonding situation happening for the pocket where it's like a flat 
and a little bit like tighter so that it can hold the phone in or whatever else you're putting in here. It kind of acts as like a little bit of a security. It doesn't have a zipper or anything or like the silicone to like really keep it closed, but it is flat and bonded, like I said. So it does have a little bit of restriction there to just kind of make sure nothing falls out. I also do love all this like piping stitching. Like I don't know what it's actually called, but I'm going to say it's piping stitching. I think it's just so luxury looking. Like I'm just so obsessed with how all the Colorado pieces look. It just looks so good. So I will say I like that detail and I just feel like, again, the silicone logo or the embroidered logo, we love them both. And just, they always do such a great job of like the glute contouring and just even the contouring of the piping coming down this way. Like it's just so flattering. And again, we just love, 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 love the stirrups. And then as usual, they do do something like this. Um, a lot of the times when we do have like a performance and like pocket legging, I do love the piping going down in the front. And then we do have a nice top seam as well. So if you are using this for performance, like I said, running, jumping, whatever that may be, you do have that a little bit of extra security with that top seam, which is very comfortable. I find both many collections top seams are not super restricted. Comfortable. So yeah, just overall, we felt so good in these leggings. Again, I wore her as my little golf outfit and I just felt so good, especially with the matching crop, the matching jacket. Like she was an outdoor girly, but also so aesthetic, you know? But we'll talk about the Colorado pieces a little later when we get to the tops. Hi, Vic. Okay, go. Come, you have to actually show how this is pet hair friendly. Come here, come here, hug me. Look, it comes off so nicely. Yeah, right? Okay, thank you. Moving on, we have the BBL seamless leggings coming back as well. We've seen her come back a few times. I've shared my thoughts on the BBL seamless a lot in the Genesis collection, so I'll just link that for you guys to get more of my thoughts. I did not get them this time around because I said, you know what? These lighter colors and the new sizing updates, it's like, I just really hate when I have to wear underwear with leggings because of the whole camel situation. And that's just what it is with the BBL seamless, unfortunately for me. So yeah, again, I share my BBL seamless thoughts more on whatever card I have up here for you guys to watch. And you guys will be seeing it in charcoal, berry ice and chamomile. Is it chamomile or chamomile? I want to say it's chamomile. I say chamomile, but it could be very much chamomile. Like the tea. Chamomile is a tea. Flower. I feel like I see flowers on the tea box. What is cam? It's a flower! It's a chamomile, it's a flower. See, I ain't making shit up. I ain't making shit up. Okay, so getting into the bras. Like I said, I understand BTC. We do not have many to choose from, but we have some on the way. So I hear you, like I said, but this one is again for my itty bitty titty committee, mostly. So let's just give them their moment again, but just know we're coming back, okay? Like we, we will have our moment soon. We just gotta wait and hope that it's like not just one, but maybe like two, three would be kind of nice. You know what I mean? Don't worry, you guys. I literally, we talk about it in the Discord all the time. Like the day that they give us like a full BTC, like three, four, five different options, we are selling them out because BTC is just all about having our staple pieces, you know, our staple bras for different occasions that just give us everything we need. And like, like I said, I, when I, when I tell you guys is a good one, get as many as you can, you can see what happens. We just don't know when we're going to get it again. Also the dogs, like I said, there's somebody, there's snow blowing outside or something, but there's a lot of noise happening and they're just, they're protecting me right now. Okay. So anyways, Carrying on to the sports bras, we have the girlfriend sports bra, which I wish would work for us because it's reversible. We love a reversible bra always, but this one's just really not for us. She has a very deep V neckline and I was like, do I risk it or do I just save that for another piece that I could actually wear? You guys know that I usually will try things that I know that 99% probably won't work for me. But this time I had to be a little bit more selective because I did like a lot of the pieces and I wanted to try more of the other pieces that I knew for sure would work. But the girlfriend sports bra is just a little too open here for us. But yeah, like I said, I love a reversible moment and I think I just, I wish, I wish it would work for us. 
but she looks cute. And I could definitely see it looking so good on all the itty bitty titty committee, look, making the girls look great. I definitely see her being like a more risque version of like the reversible sports bra. So to the girlfriends of the itty bitty titty committee, this one's for you. Please let me know how incredible she is for you. Like, I mean, I guess for the bigger titty committee, we could definitely have her as more of like a, like chill bra, you know what I mean? But like how many, under sweaters only bras do we really need, you know? I need a few, but I don't need that many. So I feel like if you're looking for a good like bralette that's like active wear that you could wear under a button up, a shacket, a sweater, a shirt, whatever, definitely go for it. But I'm like, I'm good with my reversal sports bras and my dream heathered bras. Those are my good like under sweater vibes. And like I said, like how many do we really need? So, and it also does have like the spaghetti strap situation, which sometimes is okay for me, sometimes it's not. So it's very hit and miss. So again, I'm just very selective of like how many I really need to have of that. So anyways, that is the Girlfriend Sports Wrap. Moving on to the Ivy Wrap. This one, everyone is excited about. And again, the one that I don't have yet. I really, really need to know if this is going to work for the Bigger Titty Committee because it's like, a baby of the Ivy crop and the candy wrap bra. Like how incredible to have them just make a baby. Um, so we basically have the candy wrap situation happening in the front, but we have the Ivy wrap straps happening. What I do appreciate a lot about the Ivy wrap is that they did do the adjustable straps for the shoulders. They did not do the adjustable straps for the straps in the back there, only for the shoulders, but I think that will help with it being a spaghetti strap situation. We have not seen the adjustability on the Ivy crop. So this is definitely something new that we're just seeing in this Ivy wrap specifically. So I do have high hopes for her. I do kind of see her being a little bit like all the other kind of square neckline bras that have like, a, you know, a spaghetti strap with an adjustable strap. Like, I don't know if you guys remember the material girl one with the ribbon. I definitely got a little bit of like side boob spillage from that, but like, I feel like we might get a little less with the Ivy wrap because it does have that candy wrap silhouette where it like, kind of covers a little bit more right here. And then it just, again, it's kind of square, but it has a slight, slight sweetheart square neckline, you know? So very hopeful for her. We will see. I did order her in a large, I believe. Let me just confirm for you guys. Yeah. Oh, actually I got her in extra large. So I will let you guys know on that. And then we'll go from there. I did get her in pinstripe. So I will have the pinstripe uh, to show you guys, but yeah, I, uh, I feel like a lot of us who love the candy wrap and the ivy crop um, will love this hybrid that we're basically seeing. And I can't wait to try it out for myself. I'm just, yeah, I'm very much not sure if a large or extra large would work. So I figured because we have the adjustable straps on the shoulders, I'm like extra large would at least give me a little bit more coverage, but it might not be like super supportive by any means, but I'm okay with that, especially because it is a shorter line bra. So usually with the shorter line bras, I'm like, okay, coverage is more important to me than support. So that's kind of what my process is as a bigger titty committee when I like want a bra, but I also know that it's not quite the bra for me. You know, like you gotta, you make it work. We're gonna be seeing six colors in this one. We'll be seeing black, white, pinstripe, chai latte, mocha berry, and berry ice. It's so cute. I see this picture of uh, Victoria right now wearing the pinstripe and it totally looks like she's wearing like a, a suit, but like active wear style, like so cute, so, so cute. Next, we have a tried and true Revolution sports bra. And again, usually we see Revolution sports bras in like six colors and we're only seeing her in two. We're seeing her in chai latte and mocha berry. You guys know, since they've made the updates in the Revolution bra, I do love her. And so I do get a large in the Revolution bra and I do love her. I think she's great. I think she's a great like, Give me that side boob coverage. Give me a little bit of oomph. Give me a little bit of coverage. Like she's just like a perfect little hybrid of like all the little things that everyone would appreciate. And I think that's why it's such a popular bra. And again, I didn't love her for a little bit, but once they made the adjustments to cover a little bit more on the sides and like brought it up a little bit higher for the clavage, that's when I started to love her. And so I am very, very happy that those changes have been made for a minute and I get to appreciate the Revolution bra just as much as everyone else. And of course, she is one of our longer line bras in this collection, so I definitely think she is one of two that the Bigger Titty Committee is definitely going to gravitate towards if you guys want to continuously add to your already probably big Revolution sports bra collection, because that is one of the staples that does work for us. Um, but yeah, like I said, I've grown to love the Revolution bra a lot. If you guys have not tried her, she's just like 
a perfect combination of covering the lats, covering the clavage, covering the side boob, covering the like length of your torso. It's just a great staple sports bra if you're looking at any sports bra to start with with a collection, no matter what your cup size is. Alrighty, next up is the Dream Heathered Bra. And I laugh at this because, so I wore her under the zip bra and like, I'm just so comfortable, okay? I'm like so comfy. Everything is just feeling so soft on my skin. Like the threads fleece, the Dream Heathered fabric, just everything is feeling good, you know? Your girl goes to film her first outfit of the day at the new house puts her phone on the window, backs up, unzips it, immediately she be seeing her areolas. So just be careful, Bigger Titty Committee. If ever you guys decide to do like a, a little try on live, imagine if that was live, I would fucking die. Die! Because I know nipples also aren't censored on Instagram anymore, but like, I don't need you all seeing my areolas, you know what I mean? But yeah, because she is a deeper plunge bra, obviously I'm like just not attentive to that because it's under her sweater, but then I was like, I didn't want to, I did, didn't bother checking before I unzipped it. But anyways, I do get an extra large in the Dream Heathered bra just to give me a little bit more coverage because it is already a, a little bit of a tiny bra, but I just love how comfortable she is. I love the adjustable strap. So I very much wear her under, like I said, sweaters, shirts, whatever, but I still want to be like comfy. But yeah, that's the only thing is that the extra large does definitely, it just, it because it's looser, right? Like it's not as tight. So like if there's just a little bit more room, for some movement and some nip slips, I guess, you know? So just, I thought it was a funny thing that like literally your girl just goes, whoa. And then I'm like looking at myself like through the, my phone. Anyways, just like the leggings, we'll be seeing her in black heathered mocha berry, berry ice. And as I said, I do wear an extra large. I don't often get extra large bras anymore. However, depending on the way that it's designed, the way that I know already that I'll want more coverage and I'm, like, I'm okay with it being a little looser in the rib cage, I do get an extra large. So the Dream Heathered is one exception because you already should size up in that material specifically. And so that's how I land in the extra large because most of my sports bras that fit the truest is a large. So that's technically, like I said, my size up. Sometimes I can do a medium bra, but if you were to ask me what is my true buff money collection bra size, it is large. So that is everything Dream Heathered. I will also link my Genesis collection review so you guys can see a little bit more of my thoughts on the Dream Heathered sports bra as I do talk about that a little bit more as well as like my immediate first impressions. And again, no changes there. Okay, back to the waffle knit. As you guys already know how I feel about the fabric itself, let's talk about the waffle knit bralette. Now she is truly labeled as a bralette and she definitely looks like a bralette. However, Something I really, really want to give the team flowers for is the adjustability. I say this every single time we start to see more and more adjustability. And this one, they really added some adjustability. And I love that for the girlies who are going to get this bralette. She definitely reminds me, I don't know if you guys remember the resource bra from the Boss Collection where we had a very open back, a very like minimal straps. So there's like four straps, but it was like very like open back situation. I'll try to find a picture of it and put it on the screen, but... I do think it's very cute. And the fact that they added the adjustability on the shoulder straps and on both straps on the back is incredible. So of course, for my itty bitty titty community, I love this for you guys, that you guys will be able to really customize the bra to fit your back, to fit your bust, to fit your rib cage, to fit your whatever feels comfortable for you. We just love being able to customize the fit to really, really hug us the way that we want it to fit. So I will say that about the waffle knit bralette is that I do think the adjustability feature is incredible. And I hope that we continue to see this in more and more bras. Colorado crop hoodie. So the reason that they're not calling this a bra is because it's technically more of a crop top, but you do get that bust pads in there as well. So you do get some of that support. So I do feel like she does give me a decent amount of support that I would consider her like a, a bra crop hybrid kind of thing. Like I definitely would not be wearing a bra underneath it. I mean, if you really want it to be locked and loaded, absolutely. But I felt like for me with the zipper and just like the fit of everything, like I felt pretty good. I personally felt like because of the size that I got and just the overall construction of it and everything, I got a decent, like, you know, medium support. And so I think that just depends on the sizing that you get as well. So we do have a locking zip feature, which you guys have seen this before in a few different zip up tops that Buff Bunny Collection has launched in the past. And that is where 
you literally flip it down and then it's not moving, which is so great. So if you want to wear it a little bit lower, if you want to wear it mid, wherever you want to have the zipper stop, you can lock that in place and it's going nowhere. I also love that we have the little hook at the top so you can have a little peekaboo moment. We've seen this again in a few previous zip up shirts. And so I do love that in general. So it just doesn't work when it's off. Oh, it seems to like really cool. Hmm, interesting. It does have the zip locking feature. It's just not quite the same as what we've seen before. Before you could like really feel when it was locked, like the zipper, like it would almost like be like, um, it'd be stiff, but like this one moves still, right? So like in the past, we've seen it where to lock it, you have to like push it down. Now it's just locked. Like the zipper is pretty stiff. Um, like when I'm zipping it up, it feels almost like different, you know what I mean? So no, that's intentional, not because you're like fucking up the zipper, you know? So that is so that it has the locking feature. So again, something different than what we've seen in the past with the whole lock zip situation, but it definitely allows you to have whatever clavage moment you want. But just so you guys know, when you zip it up, it'll feel different, but that's only because of the feature. So it's not that the zipper is janky. It's just, that's how the zipper works. Um, just wanted to add that. Resuming Triam. I personally liked having the hood. I know not everyone is going to love it, but I like the hood. And again, when you think about why this was designed to be more of like for the warmer kind of vibes, I think it's great. Like, you know, we're always going to want to wear a hood if you want just that a bit of extra warmth. And I mean, you just can't go wrong with the fleece being in the hood. I did wear her on the hood when we went to Launchpad. Yeah, so I personally love the hood. I think it's a cute touch, especially like I said, for the vibes of the whole outfit itself. You know, the fleece line, the leggings that we just talked about, the jacket, everything like that. Like I think overall, it makes sense to have the hood. It definitely would look cute without it as well, but I think because we're trying to make it like a sleeveless, but like warm piece, it makes sense to add it. I personally liked the size medium more. The large was just a little bit too big. You'll see in this picture here, I having a lot of gapping happening at the rib cage, which obviously isn't ideal when you're wearing something that is supposed to be like a two-in-one of being a bra and a top. So medium definitely was the best fit for me. And I just felt so good in it as well. Definitely reminded me a lot of like the Hellraiser top, the, what are the, the seven seat, no, is it seven seats? No, courtside, the courtside zip tank, you know what I'm talking about? I'm so bad at remembering the name sometimes, even though I like literally eat, sleep and breathe them during launches, but it definitely does give me very similar vibes to the ones that we've seen. And again, it's very much giving like Aurora crop top, but like a warmer version and with a hood, which I do love. I loved Love, love, love the Aurora crop top. You guys know I have literally almost every single color. So I do love the silhouette of this so much. And I think it does give like a nice tasteful amount of like extra skin here being a little bit more of a narrow cut. I just, again, I am just so obsessed with everything Colorado pieces because they just absolutely killed it. I did also get to sample this like a year ago. So I knew she was coming at some point. And so it's so cool to see kind of the finished product because is definitely like way better than the sample, obviously. But I think they did such a great job on this and I'm excited to wear it as an athleisure thing or as a performance thing. We do have the silicone logo here and then we do have an elastic inside as well and a little bit of bonding at the bottom. We started seeing the bonding in the um, Dreamhouse collection. We saw her a little bit in the Sevens collection with Kara as well. And I just think it's such a great, just added touch to everything to just really make you feel secure and just good. And then again, just kind of the similar like little bit of piping happening here. Um, and then the same stitching as well. But I do, again, I just love all the little details to just make it look a little bit more, um, you know? So overall, we love her. We don't have any pockets or zippers or anything in the back either. So it's just like a good old crop zip up vest situation. And again, there is built in cups as well. There's no actual shelf. It's just built in boob pads. So you don't get a whole lot of support. You just get enough to feel a little bit like a more light medium-ish. Like I said, I felt more medium only because the medium size in general gives me a little bit more locked and loadedness, but I'd say if you're getting your true size, you'll feel like it's more of a light support for sure. Like I said, with the large, we had some issues. Like I definitely felt light support, but also just the gapping in the front is what gave me the whole like, no, I'm a medium. This one's only coming out in these two colors, which is the mocha berry and the black. Next, we have the shape seamless sports bra, which I don't personally have. Again, she was one of those that I was like, 
do I try her? Do I not? But I've heard so many great things from the other athletes. I'm loving just the different detailing of the ribbing happening on the seamless. Um, you can see it in this photo a little bit blown up, but there's just so many little things that they did to make it just look a little different. And I can see it pairing so nicely with the seamless. So if you are getting the BBL seamless, I definitely think getting the shape seamless sports bra will be so gorgeous. I imagine her fitting quite similarly to all of the other short line bras that we've seen that look like this. So again, for the BTC, it's just going to be another one of those like chill vibes. But again, seamless bras in general are also just very comfortable and very nice to have. And like you guys know, I'm just someone who I barely don't wear the matching bra to a legging. So it's kind of like, ugh, because it wasn't like a matching bra that for sure would work for me. I was just kind of like, maybe not this time, you know, but she does look so nice. Like I love the double straps. I love, like I said, just a little bit of different ribbing detailing. It just all looks so cool. And like the lines of the bra come kind of like a V. So it's kind of like a, I think that's called like a chevron situation. So looks really, really nice. Like it looks great on Victoria and like, you know, an open back. Like it's just, it's nice. It's a nice different design to see just not one for me. Those will also be coming out in the same colors as the leggings. Plunge Butter Bra, another little bralette that we can be throwing in with just about any top that you want just a bralette happening with. Kind of giving me Skims vibes, to be honest with you, but like a much more dainty little strap basically holding you in the back. Like it's literally one thin spaghetti strap. Again, we have the adjustability in the back band, which is so great. And then we also have the adjustability in the shoulder strap. So as you guys have already heard me say, Thank you, Buff Bunny Collection, for just allowing everybody to really adjust these bras to fit us how we need it to be. If I needed another bralette, I would 100% get the Plunge Butter and the Girlfriend one, hands down. These ones over the Waffle Knit and the Shape Seamless for me personally, but just, she's gorgeous. I just definitely don't, won't work for me. And, on, and like I said, the strappy, like skinny straps are very much hit and miss for me too, just given where I carry a lot of my body fat being all in my upper body, including my back. And we are gonna be seeing this in four different colors. We'll be seeing it in black, moody blue, chai latte, and bone. And obviously it's made of the butter fabric as well. Almost done, you guys. Hang on, hang on. We're almost done. Going on to the Legacy 6 inch shorts, same as the Revolution, same as the Legacy leggings. Seeing her in two colors, chai latte and mocha berry. She will be six inches though. So if you guys want more six inch shorts to add to your collection, the tried and true legacy shorts are good to go. Then we'll move on to the hot girl run short. So these ones, I'm still not sure exactly how I feel about them. I was pumped to try them because they are a little bit more structured and like different from the flow shorts. I feel like the flow shorts, and the Lifesaver shorts, we all love them because they're more on the flowy side. These ones I feel are a little bit more on the like structured stiff side. And it really just like comes off of the spandex liner. And I'm just not sure yet how I feel about it. I'm still stewing on how I feel. Do I like it? Do I not like it? Like, how do you really feel? Because I'm not like, oh my God, no. But I'm also not like, oh my God, yes, right? So. I'm just, I'm still stewing on exactly how I feel about it. And I'm going to see as I look back on the footage some more, try them on some more. I'm going to wear them a little bit longer tomorrow as well, just to see. But I do love the little details that they did change on it versus the flow shorts. Like we have a little bit of a goot contouring happening. We have the mesh detailing. Like they added a lot of things to make it like a much more feminine running short versus just like an athletic running short for us. So I do appreciate those efforts. I think I'm just, like I said, I'm really trying to figure out like, do I like them more than the flow or are they kind of like different purposes? They are a little shorter though. Keep that in mind. It does have a two inch inseam. Literally still living in this sweater and clearly it's the next day because it's light out. But what I was saying in this video is that um, they ride up a little bit as I was like doing my little running and jumping around just to kind of see. But I do feel like they stay put better than the flow shorts and the lifesavers. Um, I mean, they still ride up a little bit. They're just not that tight of a compressive spandex, but they're definitely tighter than lifesaver and flow short. Um, I think that, like I said, that outer shell is just a lot more stiff versus the flow and the lifesavers. So I think it's, again, more like obvious that there's like two shorts in one, essentially. 
I haven't been able to run in them yet. Like I did, like I said, I ran around the, the basement and just like did some high knees, jumping jacks, stuff like that. Um, but I definitely see these being a little bit better functionality wise for that reason of what I just said, the spandex just kind of staying in place a little bit better um, than what we see in the flow and the lifesaver. But I do like how the flow and the lifesaver kind of rest on the body a little bit better than these hot girl run ones do. Um, so yeah. Oh, okay. Dream Heathered bodysuit. I wanted to love her so much because one, I love my bodysuits. Two, the Dream Heathered fabric is so nice on the body. And like three, I love how she gave us like an open back and like deep plunge back again, like we saw in the corset bodysuit, but like it wasn't as deep. And just like, I just love a good like little sweetheart neckline. You know, the shorts weren't too short. They're five inches, like literally that happy medium between four and six. However, the straps were so tight on my traps. And I'm like, damn, imagine for like a taller girl. And then that band in the middle, I wish it was adjustable like the corset one because she just dug into my back, which I know I'd be pretty self-conscious about. Like I'll wear her at home and like wear a little cover up and be fine. But like, I also want to like rock it on its own, you know? So that's the only thing I didn't love. I loved how it fit overall, like from the front, the glutes, everything like that. Like it looks so good. It's just, I have to be honest that the straps were just a little tight. And uh, like I said, that, that middle band was just like also a little tight, you know? I did throw the shrug over her, the air knit shrug that I'm going to talk about in a second. She doesn't quite hide the spillage happening, but she was so cute to pair with. And like throw some sweatpants over top too, like just such a complete vibe. But like I said, that is my only thing. And I did have this issue too with another bodysuit that we saw in the Blooming collection where just like the the straps and then just like the way that the cutout was in the back, it just wasn't complimentary to me having the body fat that I do in my back. So again, that's more of a me thing, but I do think it is worth noting the whole like straps feeling just like it's kind of being pulled down and maybe I have to like wedge it up more at my booty. I don't know, but it was something that I felt right away. Like it didn't happen over time. It was like right away. So just want to say that out there, but I do feel like She's just like a beautiful bodysuit overall. I mean, I'm still gonna love her as much and I'm still gonna wear her. I'm just gonna be a little self-conscious in the back a little bit. And like, I probably won't last too, too long with the straps on my traps. So that's my overall thoughts, but she's just, and especially in the chamomile color with the chai latte shrug, it was just so pretty. So I'm like, damn, you know, we love her, but we don't quite love her, right? So. If you're into it, I mean, some people definitely feel like they're in like wrestling singlets in these kind of bodysuits, but I'm like here for it. Like I love my short bodysuits. All right, next is the air knit bandeau. You guys already know there was no way I was getting this one. Teresa had given me the heads up that she was short in height. So like she very much would have looked like a bandeau bathing suit of me wearing it to Mexico or Vegas with a full on clavage and under boob happening. And I just was like, I'm not, I'm not even gonna bother. But I feel like she definitely has some of the properties that would actually hold up for a lot of the itter bitty titty committee to wear performance wise, believe it or not. I know there's a few out there that actually perform well. And again, I just think it depends on your cup size. And so I think that the things that they added to this and especially with it being air knit, that, that, that's going to be so nice to wear for like strength training, yoga. You could try to run in it. I would try running in it at like a home gym or something at first. But I mean, they did add some elastic in the inner edge and they did add, like they have elastic all over. So I do feel like they did make it to like stay put. I don't know if I would be, like I said, running a long time, but I do feel like you could get away with it depending on the, the cup size you are. And I just think it looks so good. I really wish that they did it longer like we saw in the Boss collection. I love that bandeau so much. I literally got it in every single color. We have not seen a bandeau in so long. And so I do wish that we had even a bigger titty committee version where it was just a little longer. I would have totally tried her out, but I am excited for this one for the itty bitty titty committee. I think this is a promising bandeau to actually wear to the gym with the shrug. Ugh, so cute. So there's just so many cute outfits for the itty bitty titty committee. And I'm like, please try it. Let me know. So, and the air knit is just so comfortable. You guys like incredible incredible fabric. Speaking of Ernit, the Ernit Bolero Shrug, we like her a lot. You guys know I usually get my Amazon ones for like the shrug, but I'm glad that we now have a Buffony one because again, this Ernit fabric is just so nice. It also has thumb holes and I love that it's 
another version of the bolero where you don't have to put it over your head. You can just literally pop it on like a little jacket, covers nicely on like the sides here, covers the back well. And overall, the large was great, just like the other bolero that we saw. So I do like the air knit bolero shrug a lot. I do see myself grabbing the other colors as well because just the air knit fabric, you just can't beat. Like it's just so nice. And it's so breathable as well. So if you are wearing it over a sports bra or over, you know, a bodysuit or whatever, like you will feel fine even if you do get a little warm. Like just so great. So that is the Airnet Bolero Shrug. Boyfriend button up. I feel like we definitely saw like a teaser of this like a long time ago. The Buff Bunny investigators saw this one come up. I think it was on a website or something and all of us were like, boyfriend button up, what's that? And then I think we all just kind of let it go. But there is a boyfriend button up. He does exist or she does exist. And honestly, I haven't asked enough about what everyone thinks about this. So I will put everyone's thoughts here because I'm like, to me, seems like just like a regular button up, but maybe it's just like not as stiff, maybe a little bit more stretch. It is made of 70% cotton, 27% nylon and 3% spandex. But it's definitely, again, just that that opportunity to get that vibe of like throwing it over something, having it kind of slouchy and very much kind of like that typical, you know, sneaking away from like a one night situation or like sneaking away from your boyfriends, wearing their button up and like no pants and like no bra, you know, like that vibe. So it definitely makes sense why they added it to the boyfriend collection, but I'm just like, what makes it so unique? Cause like I very much just get like an oversized one that's like from a thrift store and that's like good to go for me. And like, I get like, you know, like a, a linen one. I have like the usual one that like you literally you wear to like an office. So I would be curious to like touch this in person to see exactly how it feels, but I can tell that it's not as stiff. Like it does have a relaxed fit is what they mentioned here. It has a Buff Bunny embroidered logo on the inner cuff sleeve, and you could definitely wear it up with some jeans or some like dress pants or whatever. So it is very much a very versatile piece. So again, very interested to kind of see what this would look like for Oh, correction, actually. The fabric's 100% cotton, but the pinstripe colorway specifically was the breakdown that I mentioned earlier. So curious on that. Again, I'm going to ask around a little bit more to get more specifics on that since I don't personally have it myself. But if you guys are into the button-up look, again, this might be something that is very unique. I just can't confirm or not confirm because I haven't felt it myself. Last Colorado piece is the zip jacket. The details of it is just so complimentary to the silhouette. They basically took the lit laser jacket and just made it a little bit more. And they added a little zipper on the side. They gave it the fleece lining. And like I said, the details of the like, I don't know if it's called piping or what is just so beautiful on the female figure. Like I just felt so good. So, so good. And the best part is the little nubs the little like built-in mittens in this jacket so literally it has thumb holes and then you pull it over and then it covers your whole hand so yes it's not like a glove but like imagine if you're running or something and you got cold like you don't have to like just worry like think about the thumb holes or you don't have to wear gloves you can literally just like pop it over it was such a cool feature to see and I think it's just so so cool and it just worked really well and again I just felt very warm but aesthetic and cute in my whole outfit and like again the zipper on the side it just like was a vibe and like in this mocha berry color is so nice like i'm definitely getting it in black so it's called cuffins sorry the little mittens i'm talking about called cuffins it's not fleece line pockets to keep your hands warm <laughs> so they didn't really add a hoodie because if you were to get like the crop hoodie you'd have two hoods and that's just like a lot right so they kind of like kept in mind that some people will probably get the full like three pieces so that's why there's no hood on that but Again, I'm just obsessed with the cuffins. I've literally never seen that, but also maybe there's just like running active wear that I've just never seen that has it, but I just thought it was so, so cool. And again, I'm just obsessed with the fleece line. If you guys aren't sure, I am obsessed with it. It's basically like a warm lit laser jacket. And I mean, I feel like all of the fitted jackets of Buff Bunny Collection really do the female body wonders. So I feel like that's never a question. So good job again, Buff Bunny Collection on the whole Colorado set because I am here for it all. All right, last few things here. We have the Finder long sleeve tee coming out and that is in a new cotton that they're trying that feels a little bit different than our other cotton shirts that we've seen. I personally did not get this, but they did come out with, like I said, like a little bit of a graphic tee situation that's long sleeve. In the back, it says find something worth finding, which based on the behind the design, they really wanted you guys to think about this prompt as to, you know, what is 
that something for you. And so I think that was a really like deep moment. So especially with the the campaign, I'm not sure if everyone has seen the campaign, but this campaign is all about like doing things in your own time, doing things in your own term and like not giving in to what society tells us to do. And, you know, I could definitely relate on this and I'm not going to go too much on a tangent, but, you know, I've been with my now fiance for 11 and a half years. And, you know, not only that, but I think I've also painted a picture of what I thought my life was going to look like by now. But I think the messaging behind this campaign was so beautiful to say that, like, you know, like do do what feels best for you, do what aligns for you in your life and don't so much give in to like what everyone else says around you and says you should be doing by now, right? So anyways, that's kind of the reasoning behind the finder long sleeve tee. So for those long sleeves, I always usually get an oversized size because I like it so big and I usually wear it to bed or like for cardio or something like that. So go ahead with whatever size works for you given the style that you kind of want to go for. Full girl crop, I do not have either, but I do love the way that it's designed. It kind of looks like the quarter zip, but like just in a long sleeve. And so I think she'd definitely be like a great layering piece for your walks, for your runs. And I do feel like she'd be pretty light. She is made of 100% cotton, but again, usually sometimes those 100% cotton shirts do have a little bit of a different feel to them. So again, I will put whatever everyone else is saying about the cool girl crop. I personally would probably go ahead with a size medium or a large, depending on the kind of oversize that I like, because I can also tuck it into my bra. So we will be seeing that in Onyx Black, Chamomile, Heather, Gray, and White. And by the way, the Finder Long Sleeve, beautiful colors that it's coming out in. Last but not least, we have some accessories. You guys know, I am a huge, huge fan of the Buff Bunny Collection socks. I've been a fan of them since those literally the no-show ones. Remember those little ones that just like slipped over the toes? Now we're doing full scrunchie, full cruise, full everything. Like who's no shows, you know? But I love that we're seeing two different packs of three colorways. We are seeing mocha berry, berry ice, bone, chai latte, and then obviously the staple white. But we love a matchy-matchy moment of the top and bottom, but we also love a matchy-matchy moment with the socks, okay? So here are all of the different colors that you can see, and here's the two different packs you can see. I personally got both because I just needed both. So if you guys want a full head to toe matching moment, highly recommend. They are not the scrunch ones. They're just full crews. You can either scrunch them down or wear them all the way up. I kind of do go in between, but I just love that I can have such an extreme, extreme, extreme matching moment. And honestly, the socks itself are also great fitting socks. So I do genuinely love all the Buff Bunny collection socks. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Take a peek. Emphasizing the calves, let me tell you that. But, you love how the logo's on both sides, you know? Both sides, so you never have to worry about what's left or right. Next, we have a hair claw. When I saw the price of this hair claw, and it was for only one, there's just no way. There's no way I am paying $12 for one. USD. So like probably like 14, 16 Canadian. So I just had to say that as I was putting in the price cards. That is all. I am not sure how I feel about her. I should have grabbed her to just see like how big she was. Cause honestly, when I first saw her, I thought she was very similar to the ones that I got off Amazon. So I'm like, no, I have so many claw clips, I'm fine. But now I'm like, I'm curious how much hair they could actually hold. Cause sometimes they all might look the same, but their strength and just like the way that they were manufactured could be different. So now I'm like very curious, like how good of a claw she is. I know in the behind the design, Heidi was saying like she wears it and she has like a full head of extensions and it holds everything. So I'm like, damn, you know, when you're like, ah, and then you're like, shit, I should have gone it. So I do feel like if you want a branding claw clip moment, you guys could definitely grab the ones here. They are coming out in all the cute colors. So like truly more head to toe matching opportunities here, you know? Obviously, we can't have an accessory category without the scrunchies. We have them coming out in six different colors. And these ones are just really great because they're made of the newbie fabric, which is washable, which is awesome. And then it matches well with your outfits. We always just love the Buff Bunny Collection scrunchies. There's really not much to say. They're great for the hair. They're great for the wrist to just have another matching moment. But overall, the scrunchies you can just never, ever go wrong with. The Breakthrough Belt Bag. We have been waiting for her return since she first made her launch in Seven's collection. And we now have her in two more colors as well as the black. We have her in Chai Latte and Berry Ice, which with the poop bags that came out in the Buff Pups, literally perfection. 
I love that it's like a full monochromatic situation without like different hardware. Like I like that it's the same color as the bag. We also love that the breakthrough belt bags come with the extender, which allows it to work for so many different kinds of bodies, whether you're wearing it crossbody or around your hips. And then still, you can't even tell that you're wearing an extender, which I do love too. I do think that the breakthrough belt bag is very comparable to the Lululemon one. However, it just has a little bit more structure and it just has a little bit more of a sleek design. I find the Lululemon one, because it isn't structured, can look a little lazy, I guess, and like kind of like slouchy, where I love that the breakthrough one, like I said, has that bit of a structure there. I haven't found any issues with it being structured. That poop bag, you can definitely use for like poop bags or you could use for your AirPods. You could use for keys, you could use for literally anything. Um, you can use it for sanitizer, so many different things. But we love that they're coming back. I highly recommend you guys grabbing them because they sold out so quickly when they came out. I'll do a little bit of a separate clip here on like different ways to wear it and like the insides of it and everything. So you guys will see that clip coming up next to get a little bit more of an insight into the belt bag itself. We have an extender piece right here. If you want to add some length, I would take mine off for when I want to wear it around my hips. Okay, I haven't had time to adjust it, so it's not going to clip right now, but I can clip it. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but you can add an adjuster, and I love how the adjuster looks like it's a part of the bag. You know, like it's not obvious that it's an, ex uh, an extender, so it has the same color of everything. I love the monochromatic, as you guys know. We have a zipper on the inside, a really nice quality zipper here. See how it has that like, that finish. And then, inside, we cut because of the bag. And then we have the mesh on one side, the mesh on the other. I do wish that one side had a zipper. I mentioned this when we first saw this belt bag come out and I really wish that this side was a zipper and this side was mesh. I think that would be so awesome. Um, but yeah, so there's just like a little bit more structure to this one than the Lululemon one. The Lululemon one does not have this base like this one does. Uh, it's just like all pretty flimsy. So I do personally like a bit of structure here. I also love the monochromatic hardware all over. So overall, aesthetically, I would say these ones definitely take the cake. And I just love how they have this part here so you can clip on, like I said, a poop bag, sanitizer, whatever that might be. Um, but yeah, that is what the bag looks like. I'd say overall they are the same size as well. I did a story a while ago. I'll post it on, um, I'll post it on the screen right now, but I did compare like the, the length and everything like that. So this is the exact same as what we saw in the sevens collection. Um, but just in some new colors and a matching pot bag. With the boys. Overall, this one is a bit more structured as well. Like the bottom has some structure to it. And then even when you open it, it has this like, little accordion situation happening. Um, Excuse me. Inside we have mesh pockets on one side and mesh pockets on the other. So we have two sides with mesh pockets and then we do have the zipper in the back as well, which is good. And then in comparison to the Lululemon one, it's definitely a lot more like, you know, like there's not as much structure to it. This one, like this stays as is and it's like a little bit more stiff that way where this one, like this is very, flimsy i guess you could say so you can really like squish it in you know what i'm saying so um and then inside it doesn't have that accordion thing so one thing that i do find with this sometimes is when i'm opening it it literally opens all the way like this um same thing it has the mesh inside what i like about this one is that it has two different mesh compartments on this side um where this one I've, it's just one big one on each one um, but it's not the biggest of deal to be honest with you um and then same thing it has a zipper on the back i would say I feel like this one is a slightly deeper, um, but I do like the zipper on this one. It seems like a bit more higher quality there versus this one here. Um, and yeah, overall, they're about the same size though. I'd say the Lululemon one's just like a little bit longer, right? Like it's a little bit ever so slightly. Yeah, see so like ever, ever so slightly is a bit longer. Um, I would say the Buff Bunny one is also a little bit taller. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'd say the Buff Bunny one is a bit taller. But yeah, I love how the Lululemon one though, or sorry, I love how the Buff Bunny one though, you can have the extender on or off, so then or off, so then it's like not so much like excess um, 
strap dangling when you want to wear it actually like around the waist as a belt bag and i do like how it has a bit more structure too um and like i said i like how if i were to open this like on the side i don't feel like it's totally open all the way where with this one especially if i have a lot on the mesh pockets it literally like opens all the way like that and then shit's like falling out so for this one because of that structure you know what i mean so um yeah that is the 101 on the new buff bunny belt bags versus the miss lemon one last but not least we have the dad hats the dad hats definitely have improved over time and i love again that they've made this a more monochromatic look they used to do a brown leather strap and then like a metal, like silver metal little clasp thing for the adjustability. But now the dad hats are all the same color as the actual material of the hat. And so I do love that so, so much. So overall, I'm just, as you can see, love my monochromatic matching moments in absolutely everything, whether that's my outfit, whether that's my bag, whether that's my hat, I love it all. And so the dad hat, like I said, I think is a great hat. It fits nicely and it is comfortable. So if you guys want, again, a literal head to toe moment, you absolutely can with the Balcony collection now, especially in this collection. All right, that was a long ass fucking try on and review, but it's only because we had to cover so many pieces and give you guys all the details. And I hope this video helped you guys. I'll keep my outro short because you guys have been hanging out with me for a long, long time and I appreciate it so much. But if you guys have any questions at all regarding this launch, I am available. I'm around for extra photos, videos, voice memos, whatever you guys need, measurements, all that good stuff in my Discord community or on Instagram. You guys can answer a question box on my stories and that's usually the best way or you guys can always DM me and just bump me a million times if I have not replied. Like I said, I'm in between a move right now plus the launch, plus work, but I always, always find a way to get to you guys all before the launches. So just bug the shit out of me. I'm here for you. You guys can comment below as well. And of course, if you guys want to save 10% off, you guys can use the code GAVS. It supports me, my family, and all the things that I do for every launch. And I just, I am so excited for you guys to try the Buff Bunny collection, boyfriend collection launching on Saturday, March 2nd at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. And don't forget, you guys can enter my giveaway on Instagram and win some gift cards because I feel like we're going to be making some damage to this collection if this is totally up your alley. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!